Hello, my name is Lucas. I'm CEO of DroneTech. And today I would like to show you a quick demo of our application called Drone Scanner that's meant to be used for scanning nearby remote ID drones and devices. And I would like to show you the practical demonstration or DJI Mavic 3, which is now C class certified, and also our device DroneTech Mini here, which we, uh, which we developed. And before we dive into the demo itself, uh, I would like to particularly highlight the difference between two remote ID technologies that are widely accepted uh, by the US and European uh, regulators. And those are Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So these are main two technologies to use for uh, direct broadcast remote ID. And the main difference we will see in this practical demonstration is the refresh rate on the mobile devices. So even though the drone and the drone tech will be sending the data uh, within the same frequency, so they send it at least once per second, we will see the data received very differently on the smartphones. And that's due to the some, uh, let's say, uh, operation system limitations, such as power saving modes, etc. So I will now start the DJI Mavic 3, so you can see how I will be getting the remote ID data into the app. So I just took off the drone and now I should be able to see its remote ID information. So we can see on the first phone, which is a OnePlus 8C, we received the first message that's uh, from drone starting 1581 and we see it's a, it's a DJI drone and we see that uh, we just now received two messages. So it's not very frequent if we compare it to the Bluetooth device we developed, DroneTac Mini. When I open up its detail, I can see I'm getting the messages uh, more frequent than once per second. So we can see the number of messages boosting and also the last seen information is uh, always below one second. If I again switch back to the DJI drone, then we see we just received two messages uh, even though we started the scanning uh, 57 seconds ago. And on the rest of the phones, even though I'm running the same application, I haven't received any message yet. And the main reason for that is uh, that I'm simply not hitting the right channel of uh, Wi-Fi beacon that the drone is transmitting. I'm not hitting the right channel on those devices. That's why I'm unable to see any kind of messages. So the key takeaway of this should be uh, that the, let's say, current state of the smartphones is not ideal of receiving Wi-Fi beacon messages. The Bluetooth works fine you don't have any kind of troubles while receiving the messages, but in terms of the Wi-Fi, I am getting the data very, very occasionally. And uh, another fact is that you cannot see any iOS device here, and that's for the reason uh, that the iOS device don't even support Wi-Fi beacon scanning. So that's all from me, uh, from, from this practical presentation. Please let us know if you have any technical inquiries or questions and also check out the drone scanner. Thank you. Bye.